everybody, Mr. Traveler here, and I want to thank you for tuning in today. Ladies and gentlemen, I can honestly say that I have never been so excited for or in so much anticipation for a new cruise ship as I am with the icon of the seas. This will be the largest ship in the world when she debuts next January. And don't forget, we have a group cruise on here February the 24th of next year that we would love to see you on. This will be the largest ship in the world. It has a beautiful, elegant design. I like to think of it as grown and sexy meets family friendly. There is literally something for everybody to do on board this beautiful vessel. They have spent so much attention to detail doing things like putting hot tubs and pools near the edges of the ship so it's a water meets water kind of environment. And the experience that you and your family are gonna have on board this ship will be second to none. So without further ado, let's take a look at the icon of the seas. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Thrill Island on board the icon of the seas. Look at this massive water park that sits atop this ship. And it kind of reminds you of the water park on Coco Cay, if you really get to looking at the slides. It looks just like the water park that's on there. Of course, they have to have the flow rider on this beautiful ship. And look at all the different water slides and pool features that you see on here. And there's also the Crown's Edge, which is a kind of a daredevil walkway that hangs over the side of the ship. So this is going to be a lot of fun for you and your family. Can't wait for Thrill Island. This ship may look like an Oasis class, but it's not. It's a whole new class of ship for Royal Caribbean. It's the Icon class. And as you can see, what's missing at the back of the ship that you would find on the Oasis class, there's no aqua theater. Instead, welcome to Surfside. This is being marketed as a stay all day, family friendly neighborhood. There's all kinds of activities in here from rides, to water activities, to entertainment, to family friendly food options. It's gonna be a great time in Surfside on board the Icon of the Seas. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chill Island. Now this area is on top of the ship, of course, right above the Central Park area. It is three decks of pools and different lounge areas for you to enjoy on board your cruise. Now really pay attention to the purposeful layout of these pools as they're along the edge of the ship. So it's a water meets water atmosphere on board this ship. And that was very purposeful by Royal Caribbean. They understand that people are really drawn to the water and want to relax near and by the water while in the water. So that's what they've done with a lot of these pools and whirlpool areas on board the ship. And they've done a lot of different unique designs, including this interesting area over here. It's not the first at sea, but it will be the biggest at sea. This is a swim up bar on your icon of the seas. And I know you can't wait to try that out when you're going on your cruise. So this is gonna be a really fun area for you and the whole family. Can't wait to try it on the icon of the seas. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Aquadome. So this is where they've moved the water shows or the aqua shows on board the Icon of the Seas. It will now be at the front of this ship uh, in this aqua dome area, the domed space on the front of the ship that you see at the very top. So here they have the waterfalls doing all kind of different formations throughout the day. They're gonna have the water shows, as you can see uh, the acrobat here uh, performing for the guest below. So it's gonna be a very interesting theater show for sure. They also have the Overlook Lounge located in this area. And as you can see, it looks very modernistic to me. Um, they have these kind of floating pods where you can sit up there, relax, enjoy a cocktail, and see the ocean go by from a very good perspective on board this ship all the way at the front. Can't wait to try out the Aquadome. Okay, so at the back of the ship, at the top, is what we call the hideaway area. This is gonna have a beach club vibe. Good chill area, especially on those sea days. You see that beautiful infinity pool hanging over the back of the ship. This is gonna be a really cool area just to lounge out and vibe out, especially on those sea days. Welcome to the Royal Promenade on board the Icon of the Seas. This promenade will make a statement like you have never seen on any other cruise ship that you've been on. The design is just over the top, luxury, modern, just simply beautiful and stunning. 
This area right here will be a great escape for those hot sea days. You can come down here and relax and watch the sea go by while you're enjoying a nice beverage from the cafe and restaurants that are located in this area. Can't wait to check out the Royal Promenade. Here's a quick look at the Central Park area on board Icon of the Seas. As you can see, it's very similar to the Oasis class ships. However, if you do notice, it looks like the balconies in the Central Park area are built in rather than having a balcony that juts out. So it'll be interesting to see how they, the final design comes out. And here's another look at the Aqua Dome outside of the ship and located directly behind it for those of you who enjoy the finer things in life or just cannot sail without a suite. Welcome to the Suites neighborhood. And much like her Oasis class cousins, the Suites neighborhood is located on the front of the ship all the way at the top decks. It has their own private lounging area, which is accessible only by suite guests. And we'll get a peek at a couple of these suite cabins in just a few minutes. The Suites neighborhood has its own pool area and an elegantly designed lounging area for the Suites guests. It also has its own private bar area. There is attention to detail and service like nowhere else on the ship here in the Suites neighborhood. Welcome to the Coastal Kitchen on board the Icon of the Seas. This is the private restaurant area for the Suites guests on board this vessel. Now what's really interesting about this ship is its placement. It is located directly in front of the Aqua Dome, giving diners the front row view to the Aqua Theater shows. Ah, the sweet life. Here's an example of a family infinite balcony on board the Icon of the Seas. As you come in and make a left, you're into the main sleeping area and lounging area for the cabin with that beautiful infinite balcony that lowers down, bringing the outside in. If you head back to the other side of the ship, is the kids play area. There's bunk beds over here as well as an activities area and a television for the kiddos. This is a Surfside family suite. As we come into the room you notice a separate living area with a sofa bed and television. It has a balcony that overlooks the Surfside neighborhood on board the Icon of the Seas. And back inside we have a queen bed with a bathroom located directly behind. You see the room is tastefully decorated and a little bit larger than a regular stateroom great option for those families. Here is a Sunset Corner Suite. Look at this huge wraparound balcony located at the rear of the Icon of the Seas. The interior of the cabin is beautifully and tastefully decorated and is spacious, perfect for that romantic getaway. So here's the cabin that we get asked about the most. This is an infinite ocean view balcony. So it's pretty much the same size as a typical ocean view balcony room but it has the seating area at the end of the room where there would typically be a balcony. And instead there is a seating area with the window that lets down to bring the outside in. And I saved the best for last, the ultimate family townhouse. I hope you're ready for this. This is probably bigger than some of your homes. 1,772 square feet, three decks high, sleeps eight people. The upstairs master bedroom has its own private balcony that overlooks the surf side area. It has a full bathroom with the master bedroom. And then downstairs it has two separate bathrooms. One of them has a double headed shower and the other one has a bathroom with a tub. This is home away from home, if not better than home. And this is every kid's dream come true <laughs> at sea. I definitely wish they had this when I was a kid. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this tour of the Icon of the Seas. I cannot wait to sail on this magnificent vessel. And ladies and gentlemen, if we can help you book or plan a dream vacation on this beautiful ship or any other ship of your choosing, please give us a call at 877-697-4470 or you can book right online at www.mr-traveler.com. We'll make sure that you have the very best deal after you book that cruise online. So again, we want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this tour with us. And remember, guys, that life's short. Have fun. Get out out there and see the world. Bye, everybody.